that need that wisdom of how things could be, then uh -huh. being willing to be an active mentor uh, is is so important because there's a lot of, like I said, it's just blind leading the blind. But that, other than that, if you're on your own and you don't have any ability to, you know, once again, that's where the forums really come into handy because then it's this, you don't have somebody sitting with you helping, but you have a whole forum community, like a lava. Mm -hmm. um, but if your principles, there's four guiding principles, or, or sorry, five guiding principles um, oh. that I work with that I think anybody who's creating the smallest of diagram to oh. the largest of architecture, the concept of s'mores makes in the biggest difference. Now, maybe you can put a link in the video to, yes, there's a YouTube, that'd be awesome. Um, oh. But it's the concept of uh, how do you look at your code? If it's a very simple thing, like, um, say logging, logging data points to a CSV mm -hmm. file, right? It's, it's yeah. about as simple as it. We all do it, but uh, the concept of scalable, modular, reusable, extensible, mm -hmm. and then simple. And you take for simple, I always say it's, it's going N plus one. You're doing the same thing, but doing it just one more. So instead of saving one data point to a file from one channel, you're saving two data points. Is yeah. your code going to break just because you change your data type from a scalar into an array of points or a yep. cluster of two different channel information. Your code shouldn't, but so many people, when they make their code, it's extremely rigid. Um, and I, I suppose actually even to, to get in front of even the S'mores acronym, the whole purpose of it is to build flexibility. Because what, if you look at any building, any extremely tall building um, on a yep. windy day, the building itself sways, right? Um, and so that's by design. If the building was too rigid, the building would collapse. And so very similar when we are all programming, we should take that same mentality of mm -hmm. uh, that building, although it's rigid in the bottom, overall yeah. it's very flexible and that yeah. will collapse. And so similar, so, so when you have N plus one, that's scalability. And so once you've determined, hey, I'm making a module or an architecture, how can I go N plus one? Then you say, all right, now I need to make it modular uh, or whatever I'm doing. And they, the, mm -hmm. the essence of modularity is, functional containment. So on a diagram is a great example of that. Just keeping parts of code that should be together, together and parts that code that don't really, mm -hmm. they're some semi-associated, but they're not. Don't let all the wires cross all over. Don't yeah. put your, hey, I'm gonna change the blinking status of a button on the front panel right next yeah. to my file. Yeah, there's two yeah. separate functions. Yeah. They should be functionally contained on a diagram. Um, and that's the, you know, you can take that up to, you know, the, the modularity in terms of, Hey, sub VI or classes, and you can really blow those concepts yeah. that it, uh -huh. even the acronym itself actually scales, uh -huh. um, to different levels of complexity of programs. So you got scalable, which is just going N plus one modular, take what you're doing that's scalable, yeah. figure out how to paint it. Um, then uh, SM, uh, R, then uh, reusable, uh, O is a different story. I'll leave that for another time. Um, I'll optimize it out for the sake of the interview. Um, <laughs> but then, you, then when you have your code that is scalable and modular, then you think about, yeah. you stop worrying about your specific needs and you make it reusable. So if you've made a sub VI, instead of leaving the name of the terminals and the default values oh. of the terminals yeah. appropriate to your situation you ask yeah. yourself think this is something that somebody else might want to use what is a much more appropriate uh, yeah. so whether it's rate or timeout and things of that nature yeah. um, and so you know everybody thinks of reuse and a lot of people say oh I've got this whole library of things I'm just going to declare it as my reuse yeah. library if you've never actually gone through the process of making the code reusable it just turns into a bunch of rubbish oh. and stuff. Because you've got weird, uh, the worst example is when you put something yeah. simple out of the guts of a sub VI that never really gets exercised and it uh -huh. turns into the reuse library. And yeah. then somebody yeah. gets wrapped, it gets wrapped, and it gets wrapped. And next thing you know, it's on a production line. And then once yeah. every you know, 36 uh, you know, months or something like that, they get this yeah. weird pop up that's ha ha ha, you know, this guy. <laughs> green uh, because somebody was funny and put a one button dialogue inside the cuts of your code and it never was actually gone through 
to make it reusable, it was just turned into a piece of reuse. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, exactly. So once you now you're looking at things in scalable, modular, reusable, then you take a really big leap and you start to think about extensibility. Everything up to that point, you really haven't added functionality to the code. Yeah. And extensibility is the the concept of right. uh, allowing code to change and modify in ways that you never intended with a lowered level of effort. And so I love to tell people the easiest way to make something extensible is to just leave a, an open space on a diagram and say, put your code here. Yeah. Or if you're doing signal processing of something, have the data go into a sub VI that's empty and write out. And now when you say hey, somebody wants to look at the data, log it to disk or do anything, <laughs> instead yeah. of going into the large program, they just go yeah. into that one sub VI and then they do whatever they need. That's their little sandbox. You've lowered the level of effort to uh -huh. add on to the program and uh -huh. not once again break this building. You've allowed this building to continue to swim.